can I have that, baby? Good morning, everyone. We're here in Waikiki Beach. Cindy's with me, but like most ladies, they don't want to be on camera first thing in the morning, so she's going to be with me today. We're right here in Waikiki Beach. Let me show you where we are. This is St. Augustine's Catholic Church. This is the St. Damien and, and, and St. Mary Ann uh, uh, Museum. And our house is on the top of that floor. And the beach is right here. And the church is just beyond us, right? You can see the steeple right in there. So we're here in front of the Catholic Church in Kalakaua. And we're here to intercede and ask God to move. Uh, we're gonna be doing our catechism, but we're else, also here in protest and in asking God to move the hearts of the leaders to, to find a safe way to open our churches now. There's only 58 active cases in the islands <clears throat> and actually only about 48 of those are actually here and 10 of them are on the mainland. So we're asking uh, that the prayers of St. Damien and St. Marianne, and we're asking for the prayers of the faithful, uh, Our Lady of Fatima, that the church should be open. So we'll start our catechism. Interesting question, and then we're gonna follow that by the rosary today. We'll be doing a, a decade of the rosary. Uh, so we're in paragraph 412. Um, why did God not prevent the first man from sinning? It's a good question. St. Leo the Great responds, Christ's inexpressible grace gave us blessings better than those the demons envy had taken away. And St. Thomas Aquinas wrote, there is nothing to prevent human natures being raised up to something greater. Even after sin, God permits evil in order to draw forth some greater good. Thus, St. Paul says, where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. And the exalted says, sings, O happy fault, which gained for us so great a redeemer. So we know that uh, the, uh, the need for freedom of will is necessary for there to be love. And so it's the price God was willing to pay for the sake of love. And for the sake of love, Christ became man, became incarnate with us and redeemed us. Good morning, everybody. So we want to invite everybody in the Waikiki area or in the Hawaii area. Every morning in front of the church, we're going to be doing our Ocean Sunrise Catechism every day, including Saturdays and Sundays. And we're going to be here in front of the church on Kalakaua Avenue, in front of this new St. Damien and St. Marianne Museum, which hasn't ever even gotten to be opened yet. And uh, we want you to come and join us for the morning catechism and follow that, following that with the rosary. So in brief, to, su to summarize this, this section uh, of the profession of faith, God did not make death, and he does not delight in the death of the living. It was through the devil's envy that death entered the world. That's from the book of Wisdom, chapter one and chapter two. That is one of the books of the Bible that the Protestants uh, deleted. Satan or the devil and the other demons are fallen angels who have freely refused to serve God and his plan. Their choice against God is definitive. They try to associate man. They, they want man to join them in the revolt against God. So what are, what are demons? They are fallen angels. A third of the angels rebelled against God, wanting to be God themselves. So the mystery of evil that you see throughout the world, especially in the high places today, it's even more evident, uh, the evil uh, uh, in the world. That there's not, people talk about conspiracy theories, there probably are, a lot of those are probably valid, but the greatest conspiracy of all is, um, is uh, the demonic, right? Paul said, we don't fight against flesh and blood, we fight against principalities and powers in the high places. Principalities and powers is a, is a 
is a terminology for the angelic world. Uh, Jay and I can see Jason's house from here across the bay. Uh, it's about, it's taking about an hour to get here, but I can see where he lives across the bay. Um, although set by God in a state of rectitude, man, enticed by the evil one, abused his freedom at the very start of history. He lifted himself up against God and sought to attain his goal apart from him. So, um, it's an abuse of freedom. Freedom isn't a license to do whatever you want to do. Freedom is the power to do what is good. Freedom is the power, the grace and the will, grace of God and the will you have in your own to do what is good. By sin, Adam, as the first man, lost the original holiness and justice he had received from God. So remember, it was Eve and then Adam that sinned, but Adam's sin was that he was he should have been protecting his wife from from the devil. And so Eve fell, but but Adam did, and Adam Adam blamed it on Eve, and Eve blamed it on the devil. But we have to take personal responsibility for personal sin. What we received from Adam and Eve wasn't personal sin, it's called original sin, a fallen nature. But as we become older, we have more and more, uh, we have accountability for our actions. Read the Confessions of St. Augustine if you want to hear, if you want to know how to really uh, look at your state and your, your, uh, your freedom of choice and its consequences. I hope everybody's sharing now because it would really be cool if you were sharing and people in Hawaii saw this and they came down and started and joined us every morning and began to pray the rosary with us. I want to remind everybody there's a man cave meetup today at 8 p.m. Eastern for those men who are members who have joined the Bears Man Cave. Uh, if you have it and you want to, go right to deepadventure.com. You can join there. You'll see as you scroll down a big red stop sign that says stop, danger, do not enter. That's where you join the man cave. We're gonna have a, a, a Zoom video meet up today at, at 8 p.m. Eastern. That means uh, Pat Gervais Rosary should be done by then. Tran Adam and Eve transmitted to their descendants human nature, wounded by their own first sin, and hence deprived of original holiness and justice. This deprivation is called original sin. So is there such a, does evil exist? Um, the, Philosophically, the clearest way to state that is that evil doesn't really have existence. Uh, it's really the deprivation of the existence or the essence that God created, right? God created light. Uh, darkness is just the deprivation of light. You can't imagine uh, absolute darkness, um, and, but darkness is the deprivation of light. And so sin is the deprivation of of God's love and God's will. Yes, you're right, Jane. We're praying for all the churches that around the world that uh, are unnecessarily locked down. And maybe in some cases it is, but I think pretty much it's not that it's not that necessary now because people know how to social distance. We can do things safely. The National Catholic Register had an article today saying that people are in Las Cruces Diocese, where my first child was born. Um, uh, there was a, there was a, uh, a um, they were the first ones to open their churches, but they did it by uh, uh, no uh, greetings, no peace, uh, the greetings of peace for each other. The one giving the host, is, it's in the hand, and the one giving it had, wears gloves, and though, then those gloves, plastic gloves, are, are properly burned as a church would ask them to be in case any communion pieces were on that and then uh, and uh, and they're practicing social distancing within the church which within the pews and people the, the holy day the obligation to go to church uh, is still not being lifted so people can choose to go or not to go but uh, if you read the National Catholic Register if you don't you should go to the ncregister.com and subscribe they send an email out every morning The result of original sin, human nature is weakened in its powers, subject to ignorance, suffering, and the domination of death. 
and inclined to sin. This inclination is called concupiscence. We therefore hold that the Council of Trent, that original sin is transmitted, transmitted with human nature by propagation, not by imitation, and that it is proper to each. So I'm gonna read this again, this is, this is Paul the VI. We therefore hold with the Council of Trent that original sin is transmitted with human nature by propagation, not by imitation, and that it is proper to each. <laughs> the victory that Christ won over sin has given us greater blessings than those who sin. Okay, the victory that Christ won over sin has given us greater blessings than those which sin had taken from us. Where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. Romans 5.20 um, Christian, I'm going to read this and I see some questions coming up. I'll finish this section. Christians believe that the world has been established and kept in being by the Creator's love, has fallen into slavery to sin, but has been set free by Christ, crucified and risen to break the power of the evil one. Yes, yeah, so uh, I think it's preferable to receive the Eucharist in the mouth. Um, I, I receive it that way. A lot of my friends that are, that are uh, uh, don't, um, but I think it's more, um, one of the reasons why I think it's important is because the, the rise of Satanism, people who receive it in the hand can find a way to, um, to keep that host and do something that they shouldn't be doing with it. That's why in our church, if you receive it in the hand, you have to put it in your mouth in front of the person giving it to you. But we know, um, um, and, the, and the next question was, um, we're not gonna be, re I can see that a lot of the churches are not giving out the blood of Jesus, just, uh, the, the host, but we know that either way, all of the body, blood, soul, and divinity is in the blood or in the host. And so that's okay to just be receiving it in the host. So soon, Cindy and I are gonna, um, <laughs> that's interesting, Jay. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I, I, when I go to, um, uh, meetings of other people that are involved in ministry in the new evangelization most people kneel and received the host on their tongue um, and they, they all have really good reasons for doing that I, um, but that's for another day we'll talk about that we're gonna pray the rosary right now we'll pray, pray one decade of the rosary for the opening of the um, opening of the uh, churches name of the, oh Cindy's so helpful she's grabbing my catechism yeah, so if you have your if you have your rosaries, we're just going to start out into and just do a single decade. You can do the whole rosary when you're when you are ready. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Cindy, can you pray really loud so they can hear you? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we pray that you would have mercy on us, that you would open our churches, that you would stop the lockdown, that the churches would be able to be uh, opened, that the, the governments and the bishops and the priests would use wisdom uh, so that we can safely open our churches. Someone said to me the other day, it's okay, you don't need to go to church. God isn't in the church. God, God's wherever you, wherever, um, uh, you are, in nature or wherever you are, God is there. But we as Catholics know that God and Jesus in a special way is present, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. And uh, there's a Eucharistic famine right now. Lord, we pray uh, that church, the church lockdown would end and that churches would be opened. Let's take one more moment to pray. St. Damien and St. Marianne, pray for us. This is the St. Damien Marianne Museum right here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You want to join me over here for a second? Say hi to everybody. Pray for us. Oh. Hmm? Just by here makes it. I can't. Come over on this side. There you go. There, hot. There. Okay, everybody. Pray, pray. We're praying for you. Pray for us. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.